All right, this is grade two, module five, lesson three, and we're adding multiples of 100 with some added tens thrown in there. And what do we mean by that? Well, let's say we're talking about 590 plus 240. And the idea is this lesson, we're gonna be focusing on using the arrow method for um, adding problems like 590 plus 240 in a way that doesn't really use the standard algorithm because first we're trying to get kids to be able to solve these kinds of problems using number sense and using almost like mental math so that once students understand how to do this and understand the meaning, meaning they have the number sense, then we can go ahead and teach students the official standard algorithm. An example of using the arrow method would be saying, oh, let's take 590, and we could add, and of course there's my dog barking, uh, we can add, oh, let's say 10. And I used 10 because I want to get to the next milestone number. 600 is a nice round milestone number. I didn't have to do it that way, but I did. And then I could say, well, now let's add Oh, 100. And that would bump us up to 700. And then I can add another 100, and that gets us up to 800. Now, so far, I can see that I've added 200s plus 10. So how much more do I need to add to get up to the total of 240, which I'm supposed to add? Well, I need to add 30 more. So I'm going to add... 30 more, and that gives me the answer of 830. So that's one way to model 590 plus 240 using the arrow method. This is not the only um, way that we could have used the arrow method for 590, 590 plus 240. Here's another way that we could have done 590 plus 240. So let's start with 590, and in contrast with the way we started here, adding by 10 to get to the next milestone number, let's say a student doesn't want to do that. Well, she doesn't have to. She could say, well, I want to add 100, in which case we're now at 690. And then I want to add another 100, in which case we're now at 790. And now it gets a little trickier because we've added 200 and we know that we're supposed to add 240. Now might be a good time to add, oops, add to get to the next milestone number. So I'm going to add by 10. That gives us 800. And then lastly, we can add by the remaining 30 to get to 830. So that's another way that students might approach this problem. The idea being on this lesson, we want students to develop number sense. And they're going to do that using the arrow method. And eventually in future lessons, we'll use the standard algorithm. All right, because on the previous slide, I went into great length as to the arrow method. Um, I'm going to go a little bit quicker on this, and I'm going to show you the arrow method, but I'm not going to do a whole lot of detail on the explanation. So we're going to start for this first problem right here. We're going to start with three 320, and then we can add. And now we can, multiple, we can add in a variety of ways, but I might add by 100. That gets me to 420. Add by another 100, that gets me to 520, add by, oh, I'll do it in red, add by another 100, that gets me to 620, and then finally add by one final 100, because I'm supposed to have add 400, that gets me to 720, or students might do that whole step a whole process in one giant leap. And uh, that would look like this. It would look like 320, and then we would add 400, and that gives us 
720. So a couple of ways to use the arrow method on that first problem. Let's do 320 plus 480. So 320, and then I can add 400. That gives me 720. And then I could add 80, and that gives me 800. So that's my second one, so that's equal to 800. And then the last one would be 320 plus 490. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here. So starting with 320, I might start by adding 70. That would give me the next, oops, no, not 70, 80. Let's make that an 80. There. And that gives me the next milestone number of 400. And then I could add 400. So that gives me 800. And then I can add in my final 10. And I could get 810. Boy, there's a variety of ways that we could have done this one. And you'll notice that 80 and 410, if you add these up, that gives us the 490, that 490 that we're supposed to be adding. So a couple more practice problems using the arrow method. Uh, so 260 plus 250. So let's start with 260. And oh, I might start by adding 200. And that'll get me up to 460. Now I'm, I've added the 200. Now I've got 50 more to add. But let's start by adding just 40 because that will bump me up to the next milestone number which is 500. And then I can add in the final 10 which gives me 510. Of course there's a variety of ways I could have solved that problem. This was just one of them. Let's do this next one, which is 440. Oh, let's, let's bump ourselves up to the next milestone number real quick right here. So let's start by adding 60 this time. And that gets us to 500. Now I can add 200 if I choose. That gets me 700. So let's see, so far I've added 200 and I've added 60. How much more do I need to add? I need to add 20 more. So I can do another arrow with 20 more and that gives us the answer of 720. All right, I included this problem uh, just because it's so unfamiliar with the way parents and teachers themselves were taught when they were children. So I thought I'd include this just to, you know, smooth things out so that it makes it easier for the adults in the world to uh, help our kids. So st starting with problem A, 34 tens plus 20 tens. So in this case, the tens becomes the label. So you have 34 tens plus 20 tens. So let's ignore the tens for a second. And just add 34 plus 20, and that's 54. And then it means we have 54 tens. And then over here, 34 tens plus 26 means, well, actually, if this was 20 and we had 54, we just add six more. So 54 plus 6 gives us 60 tens. And then we can see, well, this was adding 26, and now we're adding 27, so we're going to add one more to that. That's 61. And then again, we had, if we added 27, we got 61. Now we're going to add 28, which means we're going to have 62 tens. Now another way that we could have modeled 34 tens plus 28 tens is using the arrow method. We could have said 34 plus 20 would give us 54. And then we could have added 6. That would give us 60. And then we could add 2 more. That gives us 62. 
Um, and then sure enough, 20 plus 6 plus 8, there's our 28 that we were supposed to add. Now the next question is really kind of tricky is what is the value of 62 tens? So in order to think of that, we're going to make a place value chart. And let's do that, a place value chart. And I'm making it a little unbalanced because I know I need to put in a whole bunch of tens. I need 62 tens. So 62 tens, let's see if I can make this go a little faster here. And that's going to go 62 tens. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I've got another set of ten. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's five sets of ten. So I've got one more set of ten to go. And there's another one. And then we have just two little dots. So there's our 62 tens. And then we recall that anytime you have 10, you can cash those 10 in for a single dot in the next column over. So then we've got another set of 10, so that goes over here. And then I've got another set, and another set, and another set, and another set. So these six sets of 10 get cashed in. So we now have six dots in the hundreds column. And we have two leftovers in the tens column. So we have six in the hundreds, two in the tens, and nothing in the ones. So we can see that 62 tens is equal to 620. So we can write that down, 620. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 3, where we're adding multiples of 100 with some added tens thrown in for good measure.